Hello, African mama. How this is, this are is Auntie Ankwine. Hello, Auntie. Can I help you? Hello, Auntie Ankwine. I, I have lots of the, 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 the dilemmas. I thought you had answers to dilemmas, not dilemmas. What? What are you, you talking about? Okay. We, we have plenty of answers for you. I said you have lots of dilemmas for me. I'll fix them for you. Fat power hour. Okay. Fat okay. Power, fat power. okay. We, we've already sorted out your way. Today we've got a little girl called Annabelle. And uh, she's. Hello, Anna. She, she's got a bit of a problem. Come on, tell Auntie. Come on, tell Auntie. And she wants you to help her. I'll do anything. You want me to kiss around for her? No, no, no. I'll cook my stone. No, no. Okay. Okay. No. okay. okay. Auntie Anna, um, not Auntie Annabelle, Annabelle has a little boy that she really, really fancies. Oh, jelly. And, you know, he's asked her out on a date. Mm. And, like, she's just a bit shy. She's never been on a date before. And she's wait just, a minute, wait a minute. She's just a bit worried. How, how, how old is this girl? She's 13. She's 13? 13. She should be at school reading. you got no time to talk to boys. You're supposed to help her with the oh, boy problem. Sorry, sorry, what? sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Don't let me get started okay, on you. Yeah, it all okay. depends. If, if, if this boy is worthy enough... He is worthy. Yeah, because when I was a young daughter, or a young lady even, many, many moons ago, when I was in the fields of Ghana, this boy, he used to like me. And I said to him, Uncle, you have to go and get me a giraffe. So, so my darling, to, to show that he's worthy enough for you, because you don't have to be worthy for him. Eh? He has to be worthy for you. You decide who you want, not the other way around. Tell this boy, you say, excuse me, I think you're okay, but to make sure you're okay, I want you to get me a buffalo foot. And if he, doesn't, if he cannot get you one, finish him. Okay. Um, Next dilemma. Uh, no. Next one. No, no, no. What? But what? how is a boy of 13 going to get a buffalo foot? Charlie, if, if he cares, he will find a way. Okay. Huh. Hey. Now, let me tell you something, young lady. When I was four years old, huh, I had to kill a crocodile for dinner. See the, see the scar on my arm? That's no, that's no tattoo. That's no tattoo. That teeth mark. Teeth mark. African mama, I think you're scaring the kids. Oh, sorry, children. Don't okay. be scared of me. I'm here for love, you know? I okay. love you. Love you all. <laughs> Okay, so that was a great advice from African Mama. Uh, little Annabelle, you must ask the boy to get you a buffalo foot. I don't know where he's going to get one, but if he loves you and if he really is worthy, he will be able to get that. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's Annabelle sorted. We've got another little girl. Um, lots of girls today, isn't it? Yeah, lots of girls. I, I just I just don't know. The girls have been writing into the show. I think, you know what? I think girls are more in tune with the... With the problems, and that you know, uh, they, they ask for help while boys don't bother asking boys for are help. Boys are usually stupid. Oh, yeah, but so they, not like us, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, African mum, I don't think it's very polite for us to call boys stupid, you know. Uh, uh, I apologize, but they are stupid. Okay, okay, that that's that's the view, that's the views of African mum and not uh, Whitechapel AM. So, uh, oh, our next one is Isabel. Is, is it, yeah, I think it's Isabel. Um, was it not Isabel? You just done it, Isabel. Oh, we t- Annabelle, who we did. Okay. No, so we've so we've got Isabel, and she's come on, come on. I've got time. She she's got a small dilemma. Her problem is, what is problem? she keeps eating lots and lots of food, and she doesn't know how to stop eating. And she's always eating. She's scared she's going to be fat. So oh, how would she stop that? It's simple, 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 simple. What you need to do. Yes, well, what does she need to do? <coughs> what you need? To... I saw a little chicken in my foot. Okay, we got to... you a bit of jazzy bed too. Oh, Charlie, next time I'll bring my own beats, my African beats for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we've only got five minutes of the show. Hey! We've only got five minutes of the show. Isabel, it's simple, my darling. Big women are beautiful. That's what Mika told me. And I'm telling you. If you enjoy the food, and eat, but make sure it's healthy food, you know? You have your, your, your five portions of vegetables a day, and a little bit of uh, goat, and a bit of lamb, and it's uh, five, you know, so just mix up, mix up, and ask mama and papa, you know, to help in the kitchen. When you help in the kitchen, then you, you learn how to cook, and then you get your self-confidence. When you go to confidence, you make your own food, and you get a nice husband, then you cook for him, then you have lovely babies, and you name them Auntie and Grand, like me. Okay, Africa Mama, that has been very helpful. Oh, I finish. That's it. Five pound? That's it for this week. You yeah. haven't worked an hour. You've worked five minutes, so oh. that'll only be where, five. Where's that Benji Ram? I want to talk to him. He's so nice. <laughs> He's so sexy. Oh, you can't say that on this show. I can't say sexy. No.
No. I dare so. No. Oh. No. Well, boys and girls, it's been an amazing hour and a half. I hope you've enjoyed the Benji and May spectacular. Our special thanks to African Mama who came into the show. See you later. And Benji, yeah. come here, please. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Come here. <laughs> I think we have to cut her off on that stage. <laughs>